Sometimes doing all the things in your business is just too much, isn't it? Actually, I think for many entrepreneurs, it's no longer sometimes, but much of the time. You are overwhelmed, working too hard, not enjoying the freedom you thought being self-employed would bring you, and every now and then, you wonder if you should give it all up and go get a job. Well, help is at hand. I have a streamlined, three-pronged marketing strategy to share with you, which, if you implement it correctly, is going to allow you to jump off that hamster wheel you found yourself firmly on. Now, before I go on, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be informed every time I upload another video about building a visible business. I've become really aware recently of how overwhelmed some entrepreneurs, particularly female entrepreneurs, are feeling when it comes to doing all the things in their business and their life. A business on its own is demanding enough and throwing all the other responsibilities we've got and well, it's a lot to deal with, isn't it? And I see that there's a fair amount of fear and lack of confidence involved too. But what I want to say here today is that you can absolutely do this your way. You don't have to shape shift into someone else. The real magic is being you, all of you. You don't want to make reels, you don't have to. You don't want to post every day, you don't have to. Don't want to fake being someone else, you certainly don't have to do that. And if you don't want to be on multiple platforms doing all the things, then you don't have to. If you're looking for a streamlined marketing strategy that doesn't take over your life, but that actually works, then listen on. So the first step is to choose a social media platform that supports building relationships and is also one where your target customer is hanging out. Yes, just the one. You don't need to be everywhere. Now don't choose a platform because it happens to be the one you like being on most, but the one that will make it easy for you to find and nurture your dream clients. You can Google the demographics of the platform you're thinking of using if you're unsure. Does it fit? Of course, if your potential clients happen to be hanging around on the social media platform you enjoy using the most, well, that's simply a big win, isn't it? The second step is to choose a search-based platform. This could be Google or YouTube. Which platform are you going to publish content on that people can discover you through? If you enjoy writing, publishing blogs on your website will be a great option for you. These will then appear in Google searches. If you're more of a talker and enjoy being on camera, or if you can work towards that, then YouTube is probably the best one for you. On both of these platforms, you'll be able to provide content that answers the questions you know your audience is searching for. When they type in their question to Google, you want your content to pop up. That's what we're working towards, you being more visible. And that's it, just two platforms. This is key in stopping you from feeling overwhelmed and becoming burnt out. Yes, as you grow and get more experienced or employ team members to help you, you can widen your reach by repurposing your key content, your YouTube video or blog across more places. But for now, that one will do, it'll work nicely. Now next, you need to get specific with your marketing. Who are you trying to reach? What do they need help with? If you're unsure right now, you can use your blog, YouTube channel, or social media platforms to ask questions of your audience. What's keeping them up at night? What are they struggling with? Use this information to get specific about who your audience is. Try to speak to everybody and your whole marketing strategy will simply confuse anyone looking at your content. The marketers with the clearest message are the ones that always win. Now when producing content, keep in mind what it is that you're trying to do. For instance, if you need visibility and to get new people into your world, then reels are your best friend. They are absolutely massive at the moment and you don't need to dance, point or lip sync to get involved. You can simply create a short form video, giving a piece of advice or support or inspiration. It's really very simple. Don't be scared of reels. If you need to create engagement, then using stories is key. You can ask questions here and then start a private message in the DMs with anyone who responds, even if they've just liked your story. 
This is how you can help them make a decision about working with you. Your page or grid posts are where you put your nurture content and share longer form stories. All of these features are available on both Facebook and Instagram. Of course, I know some of you may have chosen LinkedIn as your main platform, which is also very powerful. Just make sure you use all the functions there too. Now there's a must do task with all the social media you create, and it's always, always to add a call to action. Tell your audience what they need to do next. Do you want them to go to your website, sign up for your freebie, answer a question? Don't miss this opportunity to connect. Leaving it to chance never works, as people get distracted easily and will just head off if you don't steer them in the right direction. Now number three in this strategy is to add media coverage in. This is the most powerful of marketing tools you could ever use and it's free. There are so few business owners using media coverage which is daft as it gives you insane credibility, visibility and marks you out as an expert in your niche. It puts you absolutely miles ahead of your competitors too. I always think it's impressive to see media logos on someone's website, I'm thinking you probably do too. Well, it's time to make you one of the entrepreneurs who have them on your website. Also, of course, you can use any coverage you get on your social media platforms and your website, taking the pressure of generating yet more content. To help you get out of the blocks with media coverage, I wanted to add here the topics that journalists are currently interested in. So which of these could you get involved with? Number one is feel good stories. Anything positive and the journalists will soak it up. All about positivity right now. Number two is the effects of the COVID pandemic on people, jobs and businesses. Your personal experience would work well here. How did you cope through the pandemic? Number three is wellbeing. It's a hot topic and something that many of you can write about. Number four is all things green and sustainable. This is massive too at the moment. Can you talk about what you're doing in your business around this? Maybe you've got an opinion about the global warming situation that we're finding ourselves in. Number five, whether you live in the UK or not, is the topic of Brexit. It hasn't gone away, particularly how it's affected your business or your clients. Number six is the topic of diversity. This has ramped up over the last few years and there are lots of opportunities to get involved with the media around this. Lastly, and it's the easiest one, it's the how-to stories. These will always be popular and this is our bread and butter as entrepreneurs, isn't it? We share valuable information all the time with our clients on social media, for instance. So why not share some with the media too? It's an easy way to get involved. So there you are, a few ideas of stories you could be pitching to the press right now. Take some time out to brainstorm ideas and get the angle straight before you pitch. The more you do of this, the better your pitch will become and then you just need to go for it. Don't be worried if you don't get a result straight away. It's something that you just need to keep on doing and then you'll start to see the results coming in. Now, if you want to hear why I won't be dancing on social media and why you don't have to, check out my video on this very subject. I'll put the link to it in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.